Ground, Blade of Seven, Rover at base ops, ready to taxi with Alpha. Blue Angel 7, Oceana Ground, runway 5, right out 3, intersection departure, taxi via Alpha 4, Alpha, altimeter 3001. Yeah. And Blue Angel 7, understand you want us uh, taxiing on the ramp over to Alpha 4. Blue Angel 7, text via Alpha 7, Alpha, Alpha 3. Alpha 7, Alpha 3 for Blue Angel 7, thank you. All right, Josh, go ahead and arm your seat up for me. Tip 2 and 1 for Parnas, you've cleared the active on Bravo. Type 2 to tip 2 on. Seat is armed. Awesome. Tip 2, 2 1, Oceana Tower, text the tier line via Alpha, Alpha 7. Tip 2 1, type the line, Alpha, Alpha 7. All right, and uh, because of the traffic procedures here and how busy it is, we're not going to be able to do any crazy high-performance takeoff. We'll still light the afterburners. You'll feel that acceleration, but uh, we won't be pitching up vertically. That's fine. Uh, like we normally would if we were at a smaller airport. Tower, Blue Angel 7, Oceana Tower, hold truck 5 right at Alpha 3. What they give you on departure? We're only heading to 4. Blue Angel 7, we'll hold short Alpha 3, uh, and, uh, yes, they did. We're going to be heading up to 4. You want up to 17 on the go? Okay, Blue Angel 7, I'll take an unrestricted climb if I can get it. Yeah, we'll be called downstairs, stand by. Well, we might get that high-performance takeoff after all. All right. Blue Angel 7, approved as requested. Runway heading 17,000. Runway 5 right at Alpha 3, wind 0409, are clear for takeoff. Change departure. Okay, Blue Angel 7, copy that unrestricted climb up to 17,000. We're clear for takeoff 5 right. Switch to departure. Thanks for the help. No problem, too. All right. So with this, we're going to touch about five or six Gs on takeoff. And, uh, you know, I recommend kind of just sitting back. It'll be really, really quick. I mean, by the time you start flexing, we're going to already be over. Uh, are you ready to go? Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> and there's Max Afterburner. Oh, we'll rotate. All right. We're getting ready to go vertical. Let's do it. Five Gs. Ready. Hit it. <laughs> Departure. Blue Angels have passed at 2,000 for 1, 7,000. Blue Angel 7, Ocean Departure, Radar Contact Climb, maintain 17,000, turn right, direct knots. 17,000, right, direct knots, Blue Angel 7. And just like that, we're a mile above the Earth. That's unreal. We've got a beautiful day, a beautiful view. Tell you what, this is a nice spot. A real, real nice spot. There's the aquarium. We're going to go play out over the water. See who else is out here. We hit six G's on that takeoff, my friends, so. That's awesome. That ain't bad at all. TBM 910 Lima contact. And a little pushover. As we level off here, we feel light in the seat. Blue Angel 7, contact giant killer on 361.3. 3613, thanks for the help, see you. See ya. Killer, good morning. Blue Angel 7 with you, 17,000. 
Blue Angel 7, Giant Killer, good morning. Report established with C-72 and cancellation off our clearance. Ocean altimeter is 2 triple niner. Got an ABH cable ship in the city with C-72. Possible shift traffic not comes with Giant Killer. Blue Angel 7, copy all and Wilco. And uh, you have the ability to let me know if uh, the tax airspace or the 2 Alpha Bravo are open. Blue Angel 7, a firm uh, it's co-use at this time. We have a party 1-1 one -one established inside of there, uh, flight at 2. Copy it. What about 1 Alpha, 1 Bravo? Blue Angel 7, inside of uh, 1 Alpha Bravo, we got four F-18s established, the Felixes and Wildcats. Uh, we can kick uh, party 1-1 one -one out of there if you want. And Blue Angel 7, not necessary at this time. I'll, uh, I'll just need some help trying to figure out where they're at so I can de-conflict with them. Angel 7 Killer copies. Uh, we can put you on their common air frequency and you can uh, deconflict with them on the common air. Yeah, Blue Angel 7, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you. My kids are never going to believe this. Hey, enjoy the moment, you know? Yeah. Yeah, my son comes to the air show on Friday. I was like, dude, do you want to come? He's like, two days? No. <laughs> Fine, go to school. All right, man, you ready for a little G warm? Sure. All right. We already hit 60s, but we're just going to see what this feels like. There's two Gs right there. Probably just feel a little heavy. We'll bump it up to three. Get a little squeeze with the legs going. Yeah, how's that feel? Feels pretty good. All right, we're going to come to the left for four Gs now, all right? All right. A little pull. There's four. We're at four right now. Squeeze the legs. Work on that breathing technique. Awesome. How's that feel? Fine. Pretty cool. Should I try to get blood down to my legs after that, or...? No, like, basically the blood's all going to return to normal once you stop squeezing the legs. Oh, okay. I don't know if there's like a wiggle. Uh, all right, we're going to descend down just a little bit. Nice, easy roll. We'll push. <laughs> Having some fun. And a little pull. And as you can probably tell, you're going to have to clear your ears a little bit more. Our pressurization schedule in this jet's just a little different. Yeah, I was thinking about that. What? How, how, how much pressure is in the cockpit? So right now, when we're below 8,000 feet, it just uh, basically mirrors whatever our altitude is, So. Right now, we're at 5,000 feet cabin altitude. And if we go up to 8,000 feet, it goes up to 8. And then if we go above 8, it'll actually hold at 8,000 feet cabin altitude. All right. Next, I want to show you, we're just going to do a nice, easy roll, okay? Okay. So as we do this, we're going to do about 22 degrees no size. It's only be about 2 to 3 Gs. We're doing a nice, easy roll to the left. But as we do this, just imagine... Looking at those gold wing tips, left and right side. You got airplanes flying just inches apart over there. <laughs> all right, next thing I want to show you is we're just going to do a loop, all right? Cool. Straight up over the top, maybe about three to four Gs. through the horizon now and if you look straight up you can see our smoke trail where we just came from that's crazy <laughs> and as we come out of this loop next thing I want to show you is a half cubic eight all right so all we're gonna do is the first half of the loop and we're gonna once we're pointed the other direction upside down 
We're just going to roll upright. And this is actually what the diamond does on takeoff. A little pull as we pass through pure vertical. See our smoke trails. I did a nice easy roll. And this is what the four diamond pilots will do immediately on takeoff. It's always fun to see. All right, how you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Awesome. All right, next thing we're gonna do, a little bit of zero G flying, all right? That's exactly what it sounds like, so. Similar to what the astronauts do, get ready for their weightless training. They jump on an airplane. Airplane goes up to about 45 degrees nose high. They just push over. So with this, you don't need to G-strain because we're just going to be at zero Gs, but... And up we go. Get to about 45 degrees nose high. There it is. And we're pushing for zero, nine, zero Gs. No way. We're just floating. Totally weightless right now. <laughs> all right, how you feeling? Feeling all right. All right, man, we're gonna speed it up just a little bit. Next thing I wanna show you is called the split S, all right? So it's just the second half of the loop. All we're gonna do, flip upside down from where we're at, and then just pull back to the horizon, all right? Be about three to four G's. You ready to go? Let's go. All right. Here we go. Ready, hit it. <laughs> just like that, we just lost 3,000 feet in a matter of seconds. But since we're going so slow, I'm going to show you some of the slow speed handling characteristics, all right? Okay. We've been doing most of this flight, now 400 knots. We're already down to about 150, okay? All right. Starting to feel a little lightheaded. Okay, this will be a low G maneuver. That's fine. I'm going to show you some of the slow speed handling characteristics. We're at 125 knots now. We got the smoke just billowing out the back. Still totally maneuverable, as you can see, but the two solo pilots will do this down show line, wingtip to wingtip. It's pretty awesome to watch, and one of the most impressive maneuvers, in my opinion. And even though we're going so slow, we can select max afterburner, and still just pitch the nose up and climb away. Tons of power in this jet. Or do a nice, easy roll to the right. We'll level off just for a little bit, catch our breath. How are you feeling? Feeling all right. Okay, well, we'll hang out for a second. Yeah. Because what we're going to do next is uh, a low G maneuver, but we're going to roll the aircraft as fast as it'll roll, okay? Cool. Do aileron rolls to the left. It'll be full speed. Just let me know when you're ready for it. I'm ready. All right, we're going to accelerate to about 400 knots here. Got max AB selected. All right, we're doing two full speed rolls to the left. You ready to go? Yep. All right, ready, hit it. There's one and two. All right. Come an easy right. Slowing it down. Well, how you feeling now? Feel so good? Yeah. Feel awesome. Good. You're crushing it right now. That's what I like to hear. Crushing it. All right. So we've done some of the, uh, you know, we've kind of sped it up a little bit with that last maneuver, but the next maneuver I want to show you is the minimum radius turn. So this maneuver, we're going to touch about seven Gs as we uh, do a level 360 across the horizon. So all we're going to do is roll the aircraft 90 degrees to the left, 
full level across the horizon, but that first 90 degrees of turn, it's going to be about 7 Gs, okay? Okay. So it's going to be a full G strain. We're really going to have to get after it, squeeze the legs, working on that breathing technique. And then the last, you know, 10 seconds of the maneuver, we're going to back it off to about 5 Gs. But even though we're going from 7 to 5, I need you to keep that G strain going, all right? All right. And Josh, if you could just talk to me real quick, I want to make yeah, sure I still got your mic. I'm good. Uh, I lost your mic. Can you hear me now? All right. Can you hear me now? Still see me in the mirror. Can yeah. you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Yeah, okay. I can hear you. All right. Before we continue, I got to get your uh, mic back fixed. So what I want you to do is on the left side of your helmet, see if you have any loose wires. Up. Oh, hey, can you talk to me now. How about that? Yep, I got you. All right. Was it the knob or the wire? I think it was the wire. Okay. Cool. All right, man, you ready to give this uh, minimum radius turn a shot? Yeah, let's go. All right, man. We're going to turn back to the south here. All right, we're going to set up for the minimum radius turn. We roll out here. We're going to enter this maneuver at 350 knots. We're select max AB, and here we go. Ready, hit it. Squeeze the legs. We're backing off to five G's. Yeah, keep getting after it. And there we go. That was easy. Oh, okay. I'm being, I'm <laughs> I don't want to threaten you. Oh, hey. You're a monster, dude. I love it. Nothing can phase you. All right, man, we hit seven Gs on that one. Cool. You lose any light on that one, on the vision? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, it kind of, like, got rainbowy for a second. But yeah. All right, man, well, we got uh, one more maneuver I could show you. And we're going to get, uh, you know, five to 600 knots. And we call this the speak to vertical rolls, all right? So we're going to be just below the speed of sound. And we're going to pull straight vertical. But that pull to the vertical is going to be about 7 Gs, okay? Okay. Probably closer to 7.5. And, and it's going to be sustained. And once we get vertical, we're going to do a couple of those aileron rolls. Get up to about 15,000 feet. And then we're going to level off, all right? Okay. That pull to the vertical is going to be a full G strain. You ready to give it a shot? Yeah. Altitude. Yeah? Yeah, let's go. All right. Let's do it. Like Max AB here. All right. We're getting ready to go vertical for the sneak to vertical rolls. Ready, hit it. And we're rolling. And we're pulling. And we're going to keep the loop going. And reorient ourselves back towards the uh, water here. All right, man. I heard you working that whole time. Yeah, dude. How you feeling? I feel real good today. I can tell. Crushing it, dude. You work out a lot? No, I've never been accused of that. <laughs> hey, man. That's about as many G's as the jet will give you. I got nothing else for you. You absolutely crushed it today. Awesome. Stomach still feeling okay? Yeah, my stomach's fine. All right, well, we got time and gas for, uh, you know, one or two maneuvers. We can kind of just uh, rip it around for a little bit, or we can repeat what, uh, what you liked earlier. Uh, over to you, man. Uh, they said that we could try and break the sound barrier. Is that possible? Yeah, we could go ahead and do that. It's going to be pretty anticlimactic. We're going to climb up for that. It's actually uh, pretty unrecognizable from the jet. You don't hear a boom. You don't feel yeah. the boom. All right, we're going to do a little push over here. Try to build up some speed. See if we can get it. And there it is. 
I'm the fastest science teacher on the planet. And just like that, there's not much to it, right? No. <laughs> And because we're up so high, it doesn't exactly feel like we're going super fast. But we were doing about, I mean, we were doing Mach 1 right there. <laughs> All right, man, anything else you want to see before we head on back? No, I'm, I don't think there's anything else I could do, huh? All right, well, we'll get ourselves set up. What we're going to try to do is uh, come in for the carrier break back at uh, NAS Oceana. We'll be about a 6G pull. As we uh, get into the landing pattern there, all right? Okay. I'm going to get on the radio here. And, uh, yeah, should be good. Canyon 111 on Giant Killer reports stop to C-72 with cancellation of IFR clan. So she on Timber 29999er. Possible ship traffic in the vicinity of 1 at Bravo, not on comms with Giant Killer. Giant Killer, Blue Angel 7. Blue Angel 7, Giant Killer, go ahead. Yeah, below to seven. We are four or five miles east of Knott's. Head back to Oceana. I go fishing right here. Oh, really? Left side or right? Oh, yeah, left side, obviously. <laughs> left side, yeah. Down where all those other boats are? All those boats are actually wrecks. Oh, no kid. Yeah, it's like a boat graveyard. Oh, stay away from there, though. Tower can't go on the break. Roger, break. Right there on the right is West Neck. Oh, nice, okay. There's a little marina right there, it's awesome. I'm not gonna give away my fishing spots, but they're right there on the right. <laughs> hey, nice. Your secret's safe with me. Canyon 2 1, check both down runway 5, right wind 040 at 13, clear the lane, number 2. There's Kellum High School. I can see my school over there. All right, we're uh, getting back towards the field here. We're going to pull a couple G's. Or Blue Angel 7 numbers. Blue Angel 7, break left. Break left, Blue Angel 7. All right, coming left. Ready, hit it. Watch out, Tower, good morning. Gypsy 2 1, take off at Alpha 3. Gypsy 2 1, no chance out. Hold short, rolling 5 right, Alpha 3. Hold short, 5 right, Alpha 3. Gypsy 2 1. Nice work. Blue Angel 7, check with down runway 5, right wind 04011, clear the lane. 5 right, number 2. Clear the lane 5, right here in transit, Blue Angel 7. Tower, Blue Angel 7, got 3 down and locked. How'd you get for the right? Just like that, we're back on solid ground. That's it. No big deal. <laughs> 